today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a collab and I love doing collabs and I'm going to do a collab with one person with one what start over hello today I'm here with a new video and today it is also a collab and I'm collabing with one of my follow Swedes here on YouTube I am collabing with Emily from makeup by blowfish we have collabed once before I can't remember when it was, but it was kind of a long time ago. We did a face-off with Zulu palette from US Place, if I'm not mistaken. I can leave Emily's video, no, Emily's channel up here, down in the description, her <laughs> video and also sometime during the video a rather collab might come up. So, I have been following Emily for quite a long time. I actually have no idea for how long, but for a long time. And, oh god, my nails look like shit. I, okay, maybe I should put on, maybe I should tell you what we are doing. Can I focus on one thing today? Apparently I cannot. We are doing a collab with a look, a monochromatic red look. As you know, I have my 31 days of red here on YouTube now in December. And I asked Emily if she wanted to do this and she said yes. So we are doing everything red. Eyeshadow, blush, lips. If we want to, we can do it. If we maybe want to take some other blush, it is okay. But I'm going to do an all red look and it would be so fun to see what Emily is going to do. So okay, I will put on my eyeshadow primer and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Emily and while I'm doing my makeup. So for my monochromatic red look, I have taken out three palettes that I want to take shadows from. So I'm going to take the Sweet Shop Cherry on Top from BH Cosmetics, Tropical Wonders from Certify and also my... I have these singles but the Vivid pigments from Colored Rain. I'm going to use this one. Sauce. So yeah, I think I'm just going to get started. So Emily. She is a fellow sweet as I said, but she's also doing makeup videos in English. Okay, it feels like I'm out all of balance. I don't know. I'm going to start with Equator <laughs> first when I was watching this I was like oh it's named Ecuador it's not it's Equator I can't apparently read today either but okay Emily as I said I have been following Eng Engeli, <laughs> Emily for a while I don't know how long but a couple of years and she do some haul videos some makeup looks tutorials first impressions and she do some collection videos. I love those. And she just had a baby or a couple of months ago and she's trying to find her way back to yeah, <laughs> being a mom and making YouTube videos and she did a get ready with me about that and I thought that was a really important video for her to do and yeah I, I don't know what more to say I love that I'm doing a collab with Emily again I think it's so fun and it feels like we have been I always be, feel like a special connection with the Swedish YouTuber that is making videos in English. I don't know why, but maybe because we are from the same country, I don't know. But it always feels a little bit special. And it feels like we are like friends, even though we never have met and we never have talked that much, but yeah. So I can really recommend Emily and one thing that I really really like about Emily, she's really like down to earth and uh, yeah, her videos, I don't know how to see it but 
they are very like easy going you are not feeling stressed when you watch them and I like that I sometimes try to watch like younger people on YouTube um, that have a little bit more energy and I get like tired just to listen to it but Emily she has a really calm voice and yeah I think you really should check her out if you're not doing that okay this equator or Ecuador that I named it myself I like this Ecuador dun, 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 dun. And I actually want to do a halo eye today, so I'm going in with Sauce, this one from the Vivid Pigments from Colored Rain. And I'm taking this on my outer corner and also in my inner corner. And this is so freaking pigmented. This Vivid Pigments I haven't played with enough. I bought them from the US. And I think I bought them pretty early on. And you see I like tap my brush off like crazy and I still got this much pigmentation. I don't know if the formula is still like this. Because this one shade that I'm used now, that is called Sauce. It's the only shade in this palette that is not vegan. And I saw a video with Angelica Nyquist. Angelica Nyquist. Angelica Nyquist. And she talked about that Colored Rain had done all their shadows vegan. So I don't know if this is like as pigmented now. I have no idea. So for the middle of my halo I want to go in with Black Sherry from the Sherry on Top from Sweet Shop. Um, this one and I am going to of course put this in here and I hope that this will look really really good. I don't know. As normal I did swatch a little bit on my hands before this but you never know how things will look on the actual eye but I think this look good and it feels like I wanted to try to do like a lighter monochromatic red look and you know what I don't have many lighter red <laughs> eyeshadows or at least not shimmer shadows so I'm just going in with the sauce a little bit more to blend this and this sherry on top from the Sweet Shop palette. An truly amazing shimmer. It feels like when you're doing red looks, they often turn out or at least for me, maybe that's because most of the red shades I have are pretty similar. But it feels like most of them are... And that's because I have the most red eyeshadows I have. Feels pretty similar at least. Or I don't know. Maybe it's just because I love these kind of reds. And it's going to be fun to see what Emily picks for red shades to do a monochromatic red look with. So okay, I think the lids are done like this. I have uh, some amount of fallouts. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my foundation. I think that we might can do the... blush together and also the highlighter so I am going to fix the rest of my face and then I come back so I'm not finished with the base I thought that we can do it together so I'm going to take this skin glazing from Nabla this is adults only I'm going to use this as a blush and I need a little mirror I really need to fix 
like how I work right now. So I'm going to take this. It's my blush. I wasn't sure if I wanted to take like a shimmer blush first or not, but because I have a matte red one as well, but I really like this. And for highlighter, I don't actually have a red highlighter. I have, I am going to take this Mars Melter and this is actually pink, but I really, really do love this. So I wanted to use it and it is, it has a red packaging, so I'm going to go with this. And I like never use this brush for my Kaleidos highlighters and I need to change the brush. That novel brush, it's not that dense. So not all highlighters work with it. So I'm taking this Linda Hallberg instead and this but it might have a little bit of a red sheen to it. Okay, so I'm just going to spray my face a little bit with setting spray. And now everything feels a little bit better. So I'm going into my under eyes. And I think I'm just going to take sauce from Colored Rain and have it underneath my eyes. And oh fuck. Have you seen what I've done? I didn't take all the red... I didn't get all the red eyeshadow off my eyelashes. Fuck. So it has like got stuck in my concealer underneath my eye. I really tried to get it away, but apparently not. So now... This makes me so annoyed. This like never happens anymore, but apparently just today it did happen. So I'm going to see if I can just cover it with a little bit more of my setting powder. You know, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I do not want to redo all my base. Fucking hell. And I don't even think that I can put like concealer over this because I put down my powder so okay remember always clean your eyelashes I actually think I did do it because I did take shadows off them but barely not but okay do you know what I'm just going in with this sauce now we'll see if I can get this to look better probably it will just look worse because I can't have eyeshadow all the way down there Fuck, I hate this when this happens. So, do I look a little bit crazy? I might do. So, for my inner corner, I'm going into something really, really old in my collection. I'm going to take this KVD Vegan Beauty Alchemist Holographic Palette, and I'm going to take this pink opal and just pop it in my inner corner okay so something like that i'm going to put up something in my waterline and put on mascara and then i'll try to choose one of my red lips to this look and then i come back with my finished monochromatic red look so this is the finished look for my waterline i used anger mood from linda Hallberg, and on my lips i took collision from Kaleidos. I wanted it to match a little bit with what I have in my halo and my lips. So this is my monochromatic red look in the collab with Emily from Makeup by Blowfish. And the shades I used to create this look. I took Equator from Tropical Wonders that is from Certify. I also took Sauce from Colored Rain. This red one, this is amazing in pigmentation. And, and the last palette I took was the Sherry on Top, the Sweet Shop Sherry on Top from Beach Cosmetics Black Cherry. This one, and in my inner corner, I just popped from the KVD Vegan Beauty Alchemist palette this 
pink opal. And I like this look. I think it is quite a... I wouldn't say like... Not that dramatic. <laughs> Aloy, because it's still a red eye look. But it's not like sh super bright. In like the halo. But I actually like it. It doesn't feel like you need to be so precise when you do this. So I really like this look and it's going to be so fun to see what Emily did, to see which palette she's using and what she is creating. I always think it's fun to see monochromatic looks and especially red because it feels like some people are a little bit afraid to wear too much red eyeshadow because you look a little bit maybe sick. But yeah. Thank you so much Emily for collabing with me, don't forget to check her out, I will of course leave her channel and her video down in the description. And I hope that I will see you tomorrow because I am trying to upload each and every day now in December, so I really hope that I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!